I didn't want to take any sort of revenge at first, but the scenery of her lying on the bed with another man and the opportunity gave me a perfect idea. what's going on everybody hope everybody's feeling good hope everybody's doing well oh this one puts a smile on my face man i'm happy i'm happy guys i've read a lot of stories where the guy you know you guys were going to comment simp doormat all this stuff you know and i've read a lot of stories and and those types of stories and those guys didn't update or if they updated, they didn't update with, I grew grew a pair and I did this, you know? Ah, oh, this makes me proud. This makes me happy seeing this. You guys read the title. This is an update to the story I did yesterday. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, it's the story where this guy, he found out his girl was cheating on him. He said she's his world. They went on vacation. She cheated on vacation. He saw the text message while she was in the shower and it said, is he asleep yet? They're making fun of him. He doesn't even know that we're together. Ha ha ha. If you guys don't, if that doesn't ring a bell, listen to it. I'm going to play it here first. But if you know exactly what I'm talking about and you want to hear this sweet revenge update, go down to the description, click the timestamp and take a listen. With that being said, let's just get into it. So. Reddit cheating stories. My girlfriend of two years has been cheating on me for approximately four months. What should I do? First of all, don't pick on me for my English. I may have many grammatical errors as I am not native English. So me, 24-year-old male, and my girlfriend, 23-year-old female, have been dating for two years. We met at a common friend's party and we instantly clicked. Our lives have been good. We are financially stable and we are living in my apartment that my father gifted me when I graduated as he got it from his father. And since we already had a house, this was empty, so he gave it to me. I love my girlfriend, like she is the most important person in my life and as I don't have many friends with whom I can open up to, she is the one who always supports me emotionally. But for her work reason, she had to move out to a different state for two months. We talked every day on the phone and I even planned a surprise for her, like a whole day date. But when she came back and I discussed everything with her, that I have a surprise for her tomorrow, she didn't react the way I imagined. She declined and said she just wants to be alone. Normally, she never declines for a surprise or anything like that. But all right, I understand she might be tired. So I was asking, we'll shift the date to any other day. She doesn't reply and I felt this behavior quite odd. Since that day, I started feeling that she is trying to distance herself from me. But then a month passes and she says, let's plan on a vacation. I'll keep it short. I agree and we plan things and we go to her selected location. We enjoyed ourselves and all, but during the vacation, she went to her friend's house alone. I didn't know her friend lived there and she even refused to let me come with her. After we come back, she again, she goes through the same phase. Now, after two months of our vacation, I found out why she has been behaving like this. So it goes like this. I was in the bedroom, my girlfriend was in the shower, and my girlfriend's phone beeped. And I saw the text that shattered my heart. The text was like, hey, beautiful, did he go to sleep? I was like, what the F? Then I started reading the chats, and I find that she has been cheating on me with the guy she met on her work trip. And there was also a photo of them on at our vacation place. And they were talking about doing the deed and how they loved it and managed to pull it off without me knowing. I am done. I don't know what to do with my life. The only person whom I trusted had betrayed me. 
I don't know what to do anymore. It's the night I found that she is cheating. And I haven't talked about it with her. I don't know what should I tell her and how to take things further. Did I tell her to leave the guy and make things work? No. If not, then how should I proceed and also suggest some ways so that I can get over this grief? Wow, let me give my thoughts. So you have to understand where you messed up, sir. My girlfriend is the most important person in my life. She's the only one whom I can open up to. She's the only person whom I trusted and she betrayed me. All the, those things stick out to me. Those are things you should not ever, ever do. She's your everything? You should not ever have to depend on somebody else to make you feel better. To cheer you up when you're down. No, because I promise you every single time you're going to land flat on your face. Don't ever give someone that much power over you. She owns you at that point. She owns you at that point. And look, man, you're down and hurt. And I promise you, you're a young guy, man. You're a young guy. What was it, six days ago? You're a young man. 24. You have so much life ahead of you. Think about it this way. You got all the time in the world now to work on yourself. Become better. Hit the gym. Learn something new. Start another career. Outside of your career, do some other stuff. Work your way up the ladder of your career. Do everything in your power to become great. Kick her out of that apartment. It's time for her to go. Confront her and get her out of there. You guys are on vacation and she's sleeping with other people? Really? She's sneaking around and doing this and doing... Oh, no. Disrespect. She has no respect for you. If she starts begging and not apologizing, I didn't mean... No, just know that she's upset that she got caught. Okay? She's been doing this behind your back. So when you confront her and she's saying sorry and everything... She's not sorry for cheating. She's sorry that she got caught. I'm curious to see what's going on in the comments. Let's check out the comments. Oh, I like this one. You've got plenty of time to find someone who you feel deep trust in. No reason to keep stressing. Time to let it go, man. I know, but the fact that she's been hiding it from me for four months and knowing that how much I love her and care for her is just hurting and I don't know, should I leave her or continue with whatever is going on? Sir, what? Sir, what? No. Continue with whatever is going on. You leave her. You kick her out of your apartment. It's time for her to go. Don't, don't be that guy, man. Don't, don't be that guy. The longer you stay with her, the longer you betray yourself. Mm -hmm. You hear that? And it'll just hurt more. Break up with the cheater. She's soiled as a partner and of no use to you as a person. She doesn't love you. She's proved it with her actions. She doesn't respect you. Get rid of her before she takes advantage of you even more than she already has. It sucks, but staying with her will be worse for you in the future. She's not your friend. She's trash. Why do you want to stay with a cheater? She's laughing at you behind your back. Yep, she is laughing at you with, with her new boo. She thinks it's funny to F this guy and you have no clue. Shut her down. Get ticked off. Give her words that she deserves. Then ghost her after that. Leave her immediately. Grow the F up. Grow your effing balls. She's cheating. Stop being pathetic and do something about it. Like, break up and block her. Move on. There are plenty of girls in this world. If not one, there will be another one. Absolutely. And sir, I don't care what this woman looks like. She's, she might be the most beautiful woman you've ever been with. You can get another one, sir. There's more out there. But I will beg you. I will beg you. 
don't leave her and then start trying to get into another relationship anyway. You need to fix yourself. Shouldn't nobody be saying, I depended on her. She betrayed me and broke my heart. My heart is shattered into a million pieces. What? No, it should be. Oh, I found out she was lying and cheating on me. All right, pack your stuff. Time to go. And you just move on. That doesn't mean you hated the person. That just means you don't l allow someone to have control over you ever. Her doing anything like that should not break you down to where you're sitting in the bedroom for days eating ice cream and watching TV. That's no. That's not what you should be doing. Don't ever be that guy. Ever. You love her more than she is capable of loving you. In fact, she doesn't even like you. See it for what it is. Tell her to move out and best of luck with a guy who would knowingly cheat with her. I'm sure he will be a reliable guy going forward. <sighs> Guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Ah, oh, man. Tough, tough, tough. Reddit cheating stories. Sweet revenge update of my girlfriend cheating on me. Though it has been five to six days since I posted about how my girlfriend of two years cheated on me and also manipulated me to go on vacation to a place where she can hook up with her cheating partner. So I left the home the night I posted the story to get away with the emotions and told her that I am going to my friend's house. I wasn't able to sleep all night and was reading the comments and people were saying that I should leave her as she is using me. And there were a few comments like I should get some type of revenge. I don't want to take any revenge as I still love her even though she did all this to me. I am not mad at her. I am just, I don't even know how to put it. So I went to my parents home and talked to my mother. I know, I know you guys will be thinking who talks about all this with their mother. But I don't have anyone to talk about this thing. As I said, usually I talk with my girlfriend. So I went and talked to her. She was devastated and said, I thought this girl would be perfect for me. And she was looking forward to our marriage. She then said, don't worry, everything will be fine. That night I thought about this and decided that I'll go on and leave her for good. And I'll go to a nice vacation or do something nice for myself. There you go. There you go. So I went back to my house. You wouldn't believe what I saw. It didn't even take her a night to call her partner to my house and cheat on me. I didn't want to take any sort of revenge at first, but the scenery of her lying on the bed with another man and the opportunity gave me a perfect idea. I took their photos while they were deep asleep. They were both covered. I am not that kind of person. Then I went back as I wanted to get some time before confronting her. Later that day, I called that guy anonymously to a cafe and also took my girlfriend to the same cafe. I wish you could see the looks on her face. Also, I want to let you know, I took screenshots of their chats. Now comes step two of my plan. Getting all the information about the guy's background. I know it may be not right, but yeah, my one friend that I met online is good with tech stuff. But he managed to collect all his background data. And look what I found. He has a wife and two kids. The story gets even crazier. I called his wife and explained to her everything and also told her about my plan. And she was sad, but she was willing to go with it. Step three. Now I have all the information to bring her and that guy down. Now I send the guy all photos anonymously. And boy, he was scared. Step four. Breaking them up. So I said that I'll destroy his life if he doesn't leave my girlfriend. I may be cruel for doing that, but he did much worse things to me. And he actually breaks up with my girlfriend. I listened to her crying inside the bathroom. She didn't cry for me. Then I send the proofs to our friends and her family group. Final part. After she woke up the next day, her bag was ready and I said, get out of my house or I'm calling the police. She was shocked and was asking why, and she begged me to let her stay. I said in a very polite tone, get out of my house. And then I sent a text to the guy's wife to show him the divorce papers. As my girlfriend was leaving, her phone got flooded with messages. Guess who it was from? I gave her notice due to tenants' rights, but she left ASAP. 
after she got messages from that guy. So all is good. The court hearing will take a time, but will make the guy pay child support and fine for emotional damage. And I would help the lady. Oh, okay, I, I get it. I don't feel good breaking up their marriage, but I don't think she deserved that man. She's a great person, and even if the guy broke up with my girlfriend due to me, he would have definitely dated someone else. And also, I didn't feel good about all the things I did for my revenge. And also, she got hate from her friends and family. I kind of feel sad, but it wouldn't have happened if she didn't make her, if he hadn't come over that night. You can hate me, but I did what I thought. And of course, I saved one life. Also, anybody would have done the same or similar things if they would have been in my place. Also, thank you for making me feel good and convincing me to get out of this toxic relationship. Though it would take time for me to get over her. But surely I would. I also update you after a week or two about the divorce and how the lady and, and how the lady and I are doing. Wow. Congratulations, sir. Let me give my thoughts. See, look, a little tough love, guys. A little tough love went a long way. Guys are in the comments saying, don't be this guy. Don't be a pushover. You know, pick your balls up. You know what I'm saying? Grow up hair. You know, they're going in on him. He read those messages, guys, and he said, you know what? You're right. You know, and yeah, well, he had to go talk to his mom too. You know, gave him that little extra push. But hey, look, he listened to you guys. He listened. And he got a little revenge too. Proud of this guy. Salute to him. Hopefully he never makes the same mistake again. Know your worth, sir. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'll catch you guys at the next one. Reddit Surviving Infidelity Devastation Between a Rock and a Hard Place Advice So I recently found out my wife, 36-year-old female, was having sex with my nephew, 29-year-old male, from my side of the family. It's been going on for a little over one and a half years. He lived in our house as I got him a job to help him on the way to actually being an adult. I viewed him like a son, and I half-raised him as his father. My brother abandoned him when he was just a little kid. I have two children with her, and they were doing this while I was at work, without a care about the children being home or not. So to make things worse, she has cheated on me on multiple occasions with multiple men, either sexting or outright sex, over a period of 13 years. Even after we split for about eight months, I took her back. I did it always just thinking, I didn't want my kids growing up in a broken home and feeling like I was less than and couldn't do any better anyways. Now I realize how stupid this may sound, but I was just stuck. I was changed. I'm not the same man I was when I started. Over the last couple of years, I had my suspicions, and any time I spoke out about it, I was browbeat by the both of them. They would give me every reason why it would be wrong and tell me how sick I was to think that way about them. Now I have proof of all her transgressions compiled over the years. And I just so happen to have in my possession several videos of her performing the acts with our nephew. They have continued talking and halfway carrying on a relationship based on whatever love they have for each other with them keeping his distance from me in a hope that I won't bury the both of them. My rock in a hard place is this. I love my kids, and I don't wish the hurt of knowing all this on them in any way, which one day they would figure it out if this blows up now. But I am struggling with the thoughts of just burning everything down, 
turning my wife and nephew in for felony incest, suing him for alienation of affection, proceeding with turning over the evidence of both incest and adultery, telling all members of both of our families about what has happened, and battling it out in court, and seeing how the dust settles, or keeping this a secret for the rest of my life, for the sake of my children and for the families, doing arbitrations instead of a court battle, basically holding hostage the information to get my way, get my way in court out of her, but I won't be able to make it so lopsided that a judge would turn over the arbitration. I know it's easy for anyone outside of the situation to possibly say, burn this mother to the ground. For those who understand my conflict, I need some advice. Wow, let me give my thoughts. Wow, this is a, a new one. <laughs> so yeah, um, definitely would have kicked nephew's butt. Um, definitely would proceed, definitely would proceed with divorce. Get a lawyer. This information does need to go out to the family. Family needs to know what she did. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. You guys raised him as your own. You know? Ugh. How low? Just when you think, like, how low can these cheaters go? You know? Like, how low can they go? You got to divorce her and you should have divorced her years ago. She showed you who you, who she was. I don't know if it was years ago or whenever it happened, but she cheated on you with multiple men. Sir, you should have been gone out of the situation. And guess what would have never happened? This. You know, or you would have just got rid of her before this all this all came crumbling and falling into your lap like this. You know, who knows what she's been doing with him? Since he was a teenager, but you guys have been raising him since he was a child. She is disgusting. Check out these comments here. You have a third option. Meet with her in a public place where you can still talk privately. Tell her that if she voluntarily signs you over the full custody for the kids or whatever custody agreement you want, will not demand any assets and she pays you the alimony for you and the kids that you demand in an uncontested divorce. Then you will not inform her family and her friends about the felony with the evidence you got, and you will not sue her for felony, for the felony. You will still sue the nephew for alienation of affection, but this way they both will at least not get sued for felony incest. Someone said this is the best advice. Primary custody, vindication, open path to healing as and as possible future with a partner that respects you. I get you love her, OP, but you do not love a version of her that exists. Unless you enjoy betrayal and, and incest under your nose, this is not the woman you love and probably never was. This is good advice, OP. Give her the choice regarding the divorce like, like they state. Might I add, OP, get a DNA test if she has been cheating on you for years. Cheaters and lying is, is like a second language to her. This ASAP, absolutely. Yeah, go see if those kids are yours. They might not be. Oh, my gosh. Guys, what if they're the nephew's kids? Because, like, I don't even want to think that way, but, like, he brought, the guy, he brought his nephew in at a very young age. So he's been there through... His teenage years and everything. I don't know. You, we don't know. Oh my gosh. This is, man, you should have left this woman a long time ago. Guys, this is proof right here. Once a woman cheats on you, once they cheat on you, you get the heck out of there. They are dirty. They have no respect for anything or anybody, especially you. Get out of the situation. Somebody who will cheat on you and lie and deceive you like that, they will do anything. They'll cheat on you with anybody. I'm sure there's a ton of cheaters out there who cheated on their husband 
with his family member, cousin, a uncle, or even a father. It's just gross and disgusting. How dirty can people get? Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'll catch you guys at the next one.